What's good? Today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on your Mark 6 GTI while using an oil extractor. It's going to take like 10 to 15 minutes at home for you to do. It only takes me about 10 minutes to do it at home and it makes sure that I can change my oil about every 3,500 to 4,000 miles. I'm going to show you how in the video coming up. New package time, baby. What's in here? Hundred dollar wine voucher. Oh, liquid Molly. Oh, you already know what time it is, then. It's time for an oil change video, baby. Oh, the extractor king. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is let the car warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. I've already done that. So now we're gonna move on to the next step. I'm gonna take this oil cap off. I always like to sit the oil cap here. Um, this is something I learned after being a technician for years. It prevents you from um, closing the hood without putting the oil cap back on. That's a pro tip for you guys. Cool thing about the Mark 6 GTI is that you can actually extract the oil. That means take oil out of it without even worrying about lifting it up, jacking it up. That's a cool thing. So if you live in like an apartment complex, um, you got a house without a big garage, for example, my garage here, you can actually change the oil without even having to lift the car up. And that's really cool. So that's actually what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, so excuse the mess in the garage. So next you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a level surface. So we're on the level surface, we're here in the garage. We're gonna pull the dipstick out of here next. Pulling out the dipstick. So once the dipstick is out of the car, next up we get our extractor set up. So I have my extractor tube here and I'm gonna be using the red connector here. We're gonna take the end of that red connector here and we're gonna actually stick it down that dipstick tube. You're gonna reach down to the bottom. Once you feel the first resistance at the bottom, you're gonna stop. Okay. Next, you're gonna start pumping. You see it's starting to come through. It's pumping out of there, it's coming up the holes. It's gonna start going down here. Slowly start to fill this bad boy up. Now I actually went with the 10 and a half liter model just for that extra space to do a couple oil changes without having to empty this out. You can hear it filling up. Listen to that coming out of the hose. Now, while that is extracting, what you're going to want to do is actually loosen up your oil filter. Now, what that's going to do while you're extracting it is going to take some of the oil that's in here and allow that to drain down to the bottom of the pan. So that way your extractor tube can pull that out while you're extracting. Now I have a rag here. What I'm going to do is actually loosen this and take it off. Might be a little hot. Now, by allowing it to drain, when I took that off, no oil spilling anywhere. This thing is nice and dry. This is gonna go away, and I'm gonna put the new one on. So now we got our new one, take that out of there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of oil, put it on your hands, and you're gonna rub around this O-ring here. And that's to allow it to not kink up on you or cause a spot that's dry and move the O-ring. And then you get a spill from oil. I've seen it plenty of times in the auto field. Now we grab our oil here. This one's pretty cool because you pop the little cap up on it and twist it off. Yo, check out the crack, though. I'm going to pull this little tab, take that off of there, and stick a finger in there, turn it to the little side just a little bit, just to get a little bit on your finger. Like this, your new oil filter. You're going to rub it around that ring, like I said, right here. And lube that up. Once you finish that, that's all lubed up, nice and shiny looking. We're going to put the new one onto the car. Now we'll put the new one on here. You're going to just hand tighten it not crazy not the hawk out here just tighten it good once you've gotten this hand tight on here pull your holes out of here because you've already drained everything out clean that off sit it aside and then we're going to put oil in it the oil i'm using today is going to be the liquid molly motor oil 5w40 mollygen please correct me down in the comment section if i'm using the words wrong you're going to be able to tell how much oil you're putting in right here they have little indents on here one two three four and then the top represents the rest of the liters that's in here. Now on this car, it takes 
4.9 quarts, but they tell you to do half a quart less. That's to allow for you to check it on the dipstick and then it'll tell you whether you put the right amount in or not. So let's go ahead and add some of this oil in. This whole thing here, 5.28 quarts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this four one and then do half, just around right about here. I have about a half a quart left in this jug here. I'm gonna pull out my funnel. I'm gonna put my dipstick back in, let the car run for about a couple minutes, then check my dipstick and see where our oil level is at. Now I have my cap back on, dipstick back in, filter is tight, start the car up. I've let the car run for a couple minutes gonna check our dipstick now first thing you're gonna do wipe it off after you pull it out put it back in push it all the way down now pull it out then you're gonna top off if needed so that means add a little bit more run the car for a couple minutes check your dipstick that's gonna wrap things up here for me if this video has helped you at all Make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button. I really hope to see you in the next video. It's been awesome. It's been a great time today. I hope you guys have learned something. If you don't have one of these oil extractors, the oil kit, I got all of this stuff, not sponsored. I had to pay with it with my own money from ECS Tuning, and it made the job so much easier. It's going to allow me to make sure I do my oil changes about every 3,500 to 4,000 miles to keep my car running in tip top shape as long as possible. So if this video has helped you at all, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more things to this Mark 6 GTI modifications. I got a lot of things lined up. So I just had parts come in today. We're gonna have some videos coming up soon for you guys. Make sure to stay tuned. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Once again, it's your boy G-Kid signing out.